Ethan, I need to know. If Teresa were free to love you, would you want her? Ethan. Come with me. No, you can't. I'm sorry, Gwen. What are you doing? Oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for making a bad dream go away. No more bad dreams. I won't allow it. <laughs> Ethan, whenever my father does something nice and unexpected like this for my mother, it's always because she knows he feels guilty about something. Guilty? Yes, it's the only reason you're bringing me breakfast in bed, because you feel guilty about taking Teresa to the ballet last night. <laughs> Come on, Gwen, you're being silly. No, I'm serious, Ethan. Did something happen between you and Teresa last night that you didn't tell me about? We've already had this discussion. No, Ethan. We've spoken about Teresa before, but never this particular question. Well, do I feel guilty about taking Teresa to the ballet? No, I don't. Of course not. And why should I? My mother insisted I go because it was a benefit performance for the Crane Charities, and one of us had to be there. Why take Teresa? I told you it was my mother's idea since you weren't available. I didn't ask Teresa to go to the ballet. It wasn't like a date or anything. The girl has never even been to a ballet. She's the housekeeper's daughter. It was a thrill for her. I'm sure it was. And I'm not talking about the ballet. Sweetheart, please don't be upset. <laughs> As I said, it, it's silly for you to be jealous. Really? Yes. <laughs> Teresa means nothing to me, and I mean nothing to her. <sighs> She's madly in love with some other guy. It's ridiculous for you to think there's anything between me and Teresa. Aren't you going to eat your breakfast? No, I've lost my appetite. I'm going to go take a shower. Well? No, it never crossed my mind to take Teresa to bed. Well, why not? What's the matter with you? She's Pilar's daughter. And I would never be unfaithful to Gwen. Oh, you certainly are your mother's son. Father, I admit that you and I are very different men. We see the world through different eyes. But one thing I will never do is betray Gwen for another woman. Thank you, Ethan. Gwen, I didn't hear you come down the stairs. Oh, Gwen, I... Uh... I hope you didn't misunderstand what I was saying. Nothing would make me happier than to see you and Ethan marry. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, but it sounded to me as it, though you were encouraging Ethan to be unfaithful to me. No! No, not at all. I, I'm... You're a big girl, Gwen. You understand the way of the world. Until you get Ethan to the altar, he's still a free man. And what harm would it do? A little roll in the hay with the housekeeper's daughter. Uh, Father, that's a terrible thing to say. Uh, and how do you know Teresa would even sleep with me? You're Ethan Crane. She'd be honored. That's ridiculous. Beside the fact that I have no desire to sleep with her, she's in love with some other guy. She doesn't think of me in that way. Ethan, sometimes you can be so naive. I showed Teresa a whole new world last night, a world she obviously enjoyed. You would have had to be a complete toad for her not to fall for you. It's human nature. Look, if she didn't know you existed before last night, she certainly knows it now. It doesn't matter how Teresa thinks. You're the woman I love. You're the only woman for me. I'm sure I'm the last thing on Teresa's mind. <laughs> well, congratulations, Gwen. You've trained your young man quite well. Looks as if you'll never have to worry about him. 
Gwen hasn't trained me, Father. It's who I am. Yes, well, whatever. Far be it for me to try to corrupt the morals of my upstanding righteous son. Well, look who's here. <laughs> <laughs>